noisy are these birds, you guys? <laughs> I'm not getting too close to them because they, they'll fly away, but I just wanted to show you how noisy they are. They're very excited this morning. They've got some seed out. <laughs> Something scared them. <laughs> a few of them took off. They're lovely birds though. They're, these are the rainbow lorikeets. Little characters they are. Very playful little parrots. They have mainly a liquid diet. <laughs> they, eat, they eat their nectar from blossoms. They will eat seed as they're doing now. I can hardly talk over them. <laughs> they will eat seed and insects, but the um, majority is, is nectar from blossoms. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer and get some better light. You can see their gorgeous colours. They're beautiful. Little rainbow lorries, we call them. Short for lorikeets. They sure are playful. <laughs> I don't know why you all have to fight. There's plenty of food to go around, you know. Alright, I'll leave it there. I think you've seen enough of the lorries this morning. And I'm going to go inside and do a pour. See you soon. G'day guys, welcome back. I'm doing something a bit exciting today. Something I haven't done before. I'm going to do a double waterfall pour for you today. So, let me get all my little tools organised. Uh, hopefully you guys saw this waterfall pour. Um, it's dry now, so it's looking really pretty. I love the turquoises with the reddish, orangish, yellowish colours. So there's that one. And there was this one as well. This one's more blue and this one's more orange. Um, yeah, so just a waterfall a straight waterfall pour they were. Today I'm going to do more of a jiggle pour. So hopefully you guys have been following me, you know what a jiggle pour is. A waterfall pour is just holding the cup like that and the paint just falls out. Obviously a ring pour is round in circles. A jiggle pour is up and down like that. So jiggle pour today. I'm only using Floetrol and Global Paints. The one that I showed you before, these two, these were, I think they were my glue and water mix. So um, last year I was using Floetrol before I went to glue and water. So I'm just going to go revisit that and see what we come up with. So I'm going to basically be doing layering two cups with my paints. And then I'm going to use this little container to lift up my canvas like that. And I'm going to pour down. I'm going to do it at the same time. I'm right-handed, so this left-handed one might be a little bit wiggly, but we'll see what happens. Right, I've layered my, or oh, I've mixed my paints. Two parts flow troll, one part paint. I'm going to start with blue in the bottom of that one and yellow in the bottom of that one, I think. Just so that they're not exactly the same. Righto. Let's get to this, hey? No uh, silicone oil in these paints today. I, I'm not going for cells. I just want pretty layers. Um, the navy there is my deep sea. Uh, sorry, deep space. That the really dark navy blue that I use a lot. This turquoise here is called coastal turquoise. 
and then I've got my two warm colors. This one here is uh, warm yellow and that one is warm red. And I've separated my cools from my warms with the, the white. Okay, so that's one layer. Now I think I'll do one layer over here as well. You just sit over there for a minute. So I'm going to do exactly the same order, but just starting with a different one. Okay. And then the white. All right, so those have each got one layer. Now I'll go back to this one. Try not to get too confused. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to run out of paint. Like if one of them had too much, if I layered my one cup first and then I didn't have enough for that one, that wouldn't be good. So this is a 30 centimeter by 60 centimeter canvas, which is 12 by 24 inches. Um, and I know it's gonna need about 800 grams of mixed paint. So I think back to this one again, hey. These two warm colors feel thicker than the cool colors. It's not so important when you're doing this sort of technique. Um, it's much more important that everything's consistent when you're doing flip cut pours, but not so much with this one. Right, so that's two layers in everything. Let's see if we can go for a, a third layer. Hopefully we will. I've got a little bit more navy made up just in case I thought maybe I might need some navy for my corners so I just made up a little bit of extra of the navy oops not much white left I better save some of that for the next cup this is why I wanted to do two cups at once to make sure that I had enough. So this is just enough for this one. I'll scrape that out. So that's three layers, isn't it? Three layers in each cup. Same order, but just starting differently. Hope it works. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of paint wasted if it doesn't work. So I've tried a few times to recreate my Phoenix Rising, um, but I haven't actually tried again with Floetrol. So maybe the secret ingredient to get that look. It's got a very distinct kind of a look to it, that painting did. Um, I think that's enough for there actually. Let's finish you off with some white. I don't want it too full because then I won't be able to control the cup. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to manage it left-handed, but we'll see. Now with this particular pour, I don't mind if it, the, the two kind of interweave with each other. I don't mind that at all. I don't want just two straight lines there. I'm not really quite sure what it's going to do. Um, let's, I just need to put a bit more paint in this one because it hasn't got same amount as that one so we'll just finish this off here and then they'll both be equal by the looks of them this is exciting hope it works i have all these things in my mind that i want to try whether or not they work i don't know we'll see now I've got some of the navy left over. I may thin that down just to touch and use it as my flow extender. Got my little tool there ready to go. Now I found, just from trial and error, that if I pour this way, I get a totally different look as to whether I stand around here and pour this way. It's just bizarre, but it's true. So I'm gonna be, I prefer it coming down this way. So I'm gonna stand behind the canvas. Oh gosh, 
I'm a bit nervous about this one. Let's pinch that there. Oops, pinch that there. And pinch that there. This one's a little bit fuller, so I'll hold that in my right hand. I don't even know if I can pick them up. All right. I'm going to stand over here behind them. Let me pull my gloves up. Pull the pants up. All right. Are we ready? I hope this is going to work. I might have to actually move the cups just a touch because when I'm holding them, they kind of twisting in my hands so oh I don't know I'm just gonna have to go for it are we ready okay here we go can't actually see what I'm doing with the second cup I do think I need to move over a bit to the right though, don't I? Can't actually, I can't see what's happening from both of them. They're both coming out at the same speed. I'm thinking my left hand is going a little bit slower than my right hand, so we'll just speed up there a little bit. I might try and get a little bit closer to the surface as well so that I can do more of a, a ribbon. But I can't really, I can't see what's happening because I'm standing behind it. This is really hard, you guys. I'm trying to control two at the same time and watch both at the same time. I'm being right-handed. I just, I think that my right hand is, I don't know, going faster than my left. I'm not sure. Now I'm leaning over a little bit more, trying to see what's happening. I think they kind of got about the same amount of paint left in the cups. Well, now I really can't see because the cup's in the way because I'm tipping the cup over. I'm just going to have to tip and hope for the best here because I can't see a thing. Pouring blind I am. Alright, that's that done. Let's put it back down. That was really, really hard, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I kind of needed a mirror. Maybe that's a better idea, having a mirror here, because I could not see what was going on. Alright. Um, oh, look at those little fingerlings. Now I'm just going to move that down a bit, because I'm losing a lot of paint off the edge so let's just move that I'm gonna pop some water just in my navy just a splash and I'm gonna put that on the, the corners Wow it's looking really pretty let's put some up here first of all I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pour it on and I can use my little tool just to smooth it over this is just to help the paint flow over the corners and if it doesn't quite go over the corners then that's okay then you now I've got a little bit of paint there but it's a bit messy looking up here where I kind of finished my jiggles 
So I would like to take that down um, and roll it off the, the canvas. Oops, nearly lost my stick. Well, that one got the adrenaline racing. It did. I don't know. I must have been really nervous and just concentrating so much. Hands are a bit shaky. You guys do that? Does that happen to you or is it just me? Oh, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Anticipation. You know, you want to do, you want to do well. All you guys are watching. <gasps> the pressure. Pressure. How's that song go? Pushing down on me. All right, let me just go over the bottom here on the bottom edge and then I'll start tilting. We'll see what is going to be with this pour. All righty. You can see straight away that this one, was this the one I must have started with the orange in the bottom of that one? And I started with the orange in the bottom, uh, the blue in the bottom of that one. So they're opposites, which is what I wanted. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go that way first. So I don't want to lose too much paint. I just want to go straight down and kind of a little bit to that corner. That's the really pretty section so I don't want to lose too much of that All right, it's done and here am I saying I don't want to have two separate sections I think it's going to be two separate sections um, one of my next pause I'll, I'll do it more of a an abstract kind of a look because as I said I do know what I want I've got it in my mind but this one I may just keep it like this we'll see what happens it's going to do what it wants to do, you know. I can't change that. So, I do need to get over that edge, though. I'll turn this around so you can see me tilting the old other way. Oh, it's pretty. It's a lot of white on the bottom. I might get rid of some of that. Some of that white. Oops, we've gone over. Beautiful. Ooh, wow, look at that. Now I want to get rid of some of this white here. I don't want all that there. So down and to the corner, just to get rid of a little bit of that white. And now I might as well try and straighten up my line, make a feature of that line. Why not? Just playing with the composition now. Seeing what I like, what I don't like. It's very unusual, isn't it? And you know what? You know what? These little fingers, it's obviously a flow troll thing. Because I tried to get it with this one and I didn't get it. I just got wisps. See the wisps? <laughs> wisps. It's a funny word. Um, and, and the same with, with this one. Even though my mix is quite thick, starting to get a little bit of it here, the fingers rather than the feathers. Um, but definitely, definitely. You can see them here. So they're not wispy. And this is what I wanted. I wanted these fingers rather than the feathers. Now, I don't really like that white down there. It's a bit much. Um, I don't know if I can get all the way back down there again. I love that section. I love up here. It's just this little tiny corner that's kind of bothering me. Maybe... I'll make this again, but I'll only use half the amount of white and just put like a tiny layer between each. 
But in saying this, I mean, look at that white through there in those fingers. See, if I didn't have that white, I wouldn't have that. So, mm, it's really pretty. I'm just going to see if I can take a little bit off there. If, if I can't, um, I won't worry about it too much. But see, I need to get the weight of the paint back down there. And then I can change direction. Just a little bit. I don't think I want to take any more off than that. I'm happy with that. Just trying to open up these fingers a little bit. I'm just seeing how far I can push this paint um, to open up a little bit more. Here, see these the the, the lines there. I've obviously got too much paint on this painting because this center area here, I can't open it up. So I can't see the fingers so much. So you can see the fingers there, but on this side, not so much. So um, I can't really move that down. I mean, I could try, but I don't want to ruin it. Even if I do move it more this way, I don't know whether they're going to open up like they have on that side. Definitely want to do this again, you guys, um, with a bit of less paint. You know what? I think I'm just going to leave that because you know what they say? <laughs> you know what I say? If you're 70% happy with something, leave it. Otherwise, you'll fiddle and fiddle and fiddle and then you'll only be 30% happy with it and 70% unhappy with it. So just... Learn to learn to back away from the painting. Um, now, I just want to make sure that all my little sides and corners are covered. Oops, you're not. You're not covered, but you need some. What do you need? Some of this. I tipped a lot off, hey. Like there's a lot gone onto the tarp. Well, my puppy pedal pad, not really a tarp. Um, no, I don't like you, white. Let's go to the navy. Let's just pop some navy on that corner. There we go. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely less white next time and less paint. Um, what did I have? I had um, 850 grams of mixed paint. So I may cut that down. Well, I will. I'll cut that down. I'll reduce the amount of white because I've got very thick white layers there. Prefer that one. I'll layer them the exact same way because I like this. Um, and then see how we go with it next time. I know, I know, I'm fiddling. You guys, stop me. Somebody stop me. I just wanted to, I don't know what I wanted to do, I don't know, I'm just, I don't know, trying to straighten up that line, but I'm losing my blue, I don't want to lose my blue, and just bring that weight back to the middle, okay, just going to leave it. I really actually prefer this side to that side. Um, maybe I'll do, yeah, I can do both. Just like that. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do next, actually. I just, I do know that I want to keep going with this and just see where it goes. Um, because it's really pretty with, with a bit of less paint. Now, miss that corner there. How's the other corner looking? Yep, it's good. All right. Um, I'll take these gloves off. I'm going to mix up some more paint. 
a little bit less paint, half the amount of white, I think. And um, we will go again because this is so pretty. I'll zoom you in first so you can see what a mess I've made, hey? Look at that mess. I'd actually like to do maybe a wandering pour, one from this side and then one from the opposite side. I'm going to come around here and show you, show you what I mean about these fingers. In the middle there, I couldn't get, see those lines? I couldn't get them to open up because I've got too much paint. If I had a little bit less paint, I could um, open them up and really stretch them out. But yeah, this is obviously, it's a flow troll thing. These, these fingers, because um, I haven't been able to achieve those, that particular look since I've been using my glue and water mix. So I think if I want to achieve these, see the colors inside them? They're so pretty. Then I need to go back to Floetrol. So glue and water for some things, Floetrol for some things. You know, just change it up a little bit. Now, would you hang it that way? Oops, you can't really see properly that way, can you? Would you hang it? that way or would you hang it that way hmm fingerlings up or fingerlings down <laughs> oh my gosh all right i'm happy with that um you know it would also look really nice just as a single if i just did that cup just as a single down the center so lots of, lots of things I want to do. I just don't have the time to do all these things that I've got in my mind. But no, I will. I'll have another go. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.